Welcome to part 8 of Dynasty Warriors 3, and now we're going to start doing the free mode battles. And up the bat is the Battle of Changban. I did not mention this battle because of the fact that everyone else who happened to fight this battle, they will end up only fighting it if Sao Tsao is unlocked. Or, if you happen to play them in Musao mode, I think the only ones who have it in their Musao mode is like Xiao Ho Yuan and Zhang Liao. Other than that, yeah, and also Xiao Hu Dun should have had it in his, but apparently he didn't. And of course, the requirements is to stop Liu Bei at all costs. And that's why this part is short, because that's exactly what we're gonna do. In the year 208, with his forces concentrated in Huabei, Cao Cao heads south in an attempt to invade the Jing province. Standing in his way is Lu Bei, who is charged with the protection of Fan Castle. Lu Bei makes little effort at resistance, instead attempting to escape through Changban. Together with his own troops, Lu Bei tries to take the commoners with him, slowing down his forces considerably. Cao Cao, showing no mercy, pulls up behind the fleeing Lu Bei. And as I said before, this is indeed a race against time. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves because you gotta go fast and you gotta be quick because Liu Bei is actually pretty damn quick. If you're fighting on Shu side, this is an escort mission. And primarily, you're gonna have to do whatever you can to hold off the Wei forces. But since Cut I already down. did that in Dynasty one one. Warriors 2, in Dynasty Warriors 3, we're going to take the easy road and we're going to hunt Finish down Liu Bei and stop him arrived. from heading over to the escape point. Because once he gets there, the mission failed. Uh, Even though it's a 90 minute mission, officer. sorry, but you actually have 30 minutes. There's more to me than just strategy. Now. Liu Bei it may have some tough officers like uh, Zuge Liang, but to be fair, Zuge Liang is actually not that tough this time around, unlike Wu Zhang Plains, where he actually does have a high morale. Uh, <clears throat> this would more than likely be like a second or third mission to most of the uh, Shu officers. And way off, there's two of them, not mistaken. Again, I think Zhang Liao may have a third formation here. But whatever the case, you'll have to do whatever you can to stop these guys from getting away. And stupid archers, we are not having this little dance again. And also, I'm keeping track of Liu Bei to see where exactly he went. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill him. Now then, come get some. Zhang Fei actually do have a uh, uh, fifth weapon here or fourth weapon? Here. Yes, I think fourth weapon because I don't have extreme legends, so I honestly didn't get the fifth weapons. But he does have a fourth weapon here, and I do believe his fourth weapon. You have to. Hold off the way forces when great uh, ways reinforcements come. Officer. I do believe you have to protect Liu Bei for a certain amount of time. I'm not sure. I again, I'm really rusty at this. And eventually, I'll go back and play it and see what's going on. And if not, Don't I will have the information, or at least I will write it down or have it in the description, as usual, like I normally do with the rest of my Dynasty Warriors videos. But, again, this is a race against time. Liu Bei runs really, really fast. And another thing. South South's reinforcements. Now, I will take Liu Bei's head for you. If you actually, uh... Hold off Ming Da and Zhang Liao with, uh, Zhang Fei, then yeah, I think a weapon will eventually appear. But, for the most part, if you are, I do believe, 
No, I don't. I think it's Zhang, Zhang Fei or what's it? Liu Bei. I'm not sure. I'll just look that up and put it on the screen for you, or at least for the most part in the description. But there are at least two people that has an ultimate weapon here. I do. But for the most part, you are to get this done as quickly as humanly possible. Get any soldier that stands in your way, take down their troops, take down their arrows. I mean, they're archers, sorry, because their archers will pose a huge problem to you. But more importantly, the more generals you take down, the weaker Liu Bei becomes. As you can wholeheartedly see, Liu Bei's got triple the health this time around. And the defense, because of the fact that this is one of those times you have to fight him in an escort mission. So yeah, eventually, Liu Bei's henchmen will come out to the woodwork to help. But you're gonna have to strike those guys down really quick. And if you don't, well, they'll hold you over and let him escape. But if he does happen to still stick around and fight, you may have a chance of winning. And bringing bodyguards definitely help. I mean, they are basically making short work of Liu Bei, but at the most part, they're actually uh, going to give you a chance to get openings on very hard enemies, like so. And that is the end Brother, of Liu Bei. I'm sorry to say, but I must break our own. I know, I think there was another weapon here, I'm not sure. Again, rusty, I apologize. But as far as this mission is concerned, if you have a horse, by all means, come here. If you actually got the red hair harness in any playthrough that leads to this area, make sure you have it on at the beginning of the match. Otherwise, it's going to be really tough. And more importantly, you're going to have to take a horse that will more than likely buck you off. Or take a generic officer's horse, one of the two. Uh, but whatever the case, folks, we are done here. We mowed down 50 enemies. I mean, yeah, that's pretty quick. But as I said, 30 minutes is the maximum. Because there will be officers that will stand by and hold down Liu Bei. But not for too much longer. And you would have your work cut out for you. But nonetheless, next time, we go to escape from Wan Castle. The roles are reversed. See you guys next time.